The following video is for academic purposes only. It demonstrates the various tests for carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids are organic compounds with the COOH functional group. They occur naturally in citrus fruits like grapes and green apple. Vinegar is a dilute solution of acetic acid which is also a carboxylic acid. Here we have few samples of carboxylic acids. They can be subdivided into aliphatic and aromatic acids. Here I have formic acid in this beaker and in the glass bottle I have acetic acid. Now for some aromatic carboxylic acids, the simplest one is the benzoic acid. And I have a synthesis video of benzoic acid, you can check the description for the link. And this is citric acid. Citric acid is commonly available in grocery stores. This is tartaric acid. Tartaric acid is seen plenty in the fruit tamarind. And this is hippuric acid which is normally excreted through urine when you have an increased consumption of phenolic products like fruit juices and wine. These are the various tests for the carboxylic acid. The litmus test, sodium bicarbonate test, ester test and fluorescein test which is specific for dicarboxylic acids that are compounds with 2COH functional group. Let us start with the litmus test. When carboxylic acid is dropped on a blue litmus paper, it turns red. It indicates that the compound have acidic property. Sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate test. We have taken 3 milliliters of saturated solution of sodium hydrogen carbonate in the test tube. Into that, we add few milliliters of the carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid behave like any other acid producing the specific carboxylate salt and carbon dioxide is released which is observed as the brisk effervescence. The next test is the ester test. For that we take a clean and dry test tube and into that we add 1 milliliter of the carboxylic acid. Then I add equal volume that is 1 ml of ethyl alcohol. Then we mix the compounds by shaking. Now add 3 to 4 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid into the test tube and mix the test tube well. Now we place the test tube in hot water bath for few minutes. What's happening here is carboxylic acid reacts with alcohol in acidic medium to produce fruity smelling compounds called esters. The contents of the test tube is then poured into 30 milliliters of cold distilled water. The fruity smell of ester could be identified by gently wafting the air from the beaker to the nose. Do not directly put your nose in the beaker. Now for the special test that is the fluorescein test which is a confirmatory test for dicarboxylic acids like thalic acid and succinic acid. For this test I am using thalic acid. We need 100 mg of thalic acid, 200 mg of resorcinol, 3 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid and 100 ml of 5 molar sodium hydroxide. We start by taking a clean and dry test tube and then we add 100 mg of thalic acid. Next we add 200 mg of resorcinol. The amount of resorcinol should be roughly double the amount of thalic acid sociometrically. After that we shake the contents to mix them evenly. Now we add 3 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid over it. Do not add too much of acid. Now we gently heat the test tube over the Bunsen burner flame. The compound melts and attains a deep red color. 
What's happening here is talic acid gets dehydrated by the presence of sulfuric acid to form talic anhydride, which then reacts with rhizocinol to form fluorescein. Now pour the contents to 5 molar sodium hydroxide solution. I tried to pour my contents but it immediately got solidified. So instead, I added sodium hydroxide into the test tube. Either way, we want the resultant solution to be alkaline. We can test whether our resultant solution is alkaline or not by using a red litmus paper and in this case it is alkaline as it turned blue. Now this solution has a high concentration of fluorescein in it. Now to test the presence of fluorescein, on passing the normal white light, the reflected light shows a green fluorescence and the transmitted light is deep red in color. In the presence of ultraviolet light, Add some fluorescein into distilled water and observe the bright green fluorescence. By this, we conclude the test for carboxylic acids. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to the channel and hit on the bell button so that you will get the notifications of my new videos. Also, join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description.